Good evening, Jessica. Nosotros no vemos. Incluso como dice, hay probabilidades Hi. que incluso termine en punto uno, ligeramente arriba, pero el punto central es de que I'm prácticamente okay. la economía. Yeah. En el escenario central. Por supuesto que eh, estamos considerando que no hay ningún recrudecimiento en el tema geopolítico que sí está candente, como ustedes lo saben. Un oído para cada clase. Una parejita para allá y la otra para acá. Sí. Y eso fue de la noche. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we are going to start. This is the main purpose that we have for today's class. Um, at the end of this class, we are going to be able to uh, use the past simple, right? With the verb to be and even with some other verbs. And I have this, right? This is a really, really short, really short reading in which you are going to, you're gonna try to read it. I'm not asking you to read it in a perfect way, but at least to have an idea about what we have here. Right, so let me see who is the one that is going to read or is uh, is there any volunteer who wants to read this short, really paragraph? 
Good evening, me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Jennifer. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, my holiday. Last year, I went to Russia with my friends. When we went by airplane and stayed for five days, it was very cold because, because it was in winter. We played and dancing in the snow. I wore a green overcoat and a, a pair of boots. We had good food in the restaurant. We had so much fun. I love my holiday. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Any other participant who wants to read? Thank you, Osvaldo. My holiday. Last year, I went to Russia with my friends. We went by airplane and stayed for five days. It was very cold because it was in winter. We played and danced, danced in the snow. I wore a green overcoat and a pair of boots. We had good food in the restaurant. We had so much fun. I love my holiday. Thank you very much, Osvaldo. And one more volunteer, the last one. Rose, thank you. Okay, my holiday. Last year, I went to Russia with my friends. We went the airplane and stayed for five days. It was very cool because it was in winter. We played and danced in the snow. I wore a green overcoat and pair of boots. We had good food in the restaurant. We had so much fun. I love my holiday. Thank you very much, Rose. Okay, guys. Now, you three, you have made the emphasis of different parts of this short paragraph. In the, I'm going to read it for you just to check some words of pronunciation and don't worry, right? Because this lesson is for, um, how can I say it? Not, not also reading uh, or improving some uh, pronunciation, but also to understand different grammar aspects about this paragraph. Okay, listen to it, please. So it says, my holiday. Last year, year, I went to Russia, Russia, with my friends. We went by airplane and stayed for five days. It was very cold because it was in winter. We played and danced in the snow. I wore a green overcoat and a pair of boots. We had good food in the restaurant. We had so much fun. I love my holiday. You realize that I have uh, made an emphasis in different parts, right? Mainly, mainly in the red ones, right? Because in those ones are the ones that we need to highlight because we are going to start with past events. In past events, we need to take care about this. In this very short paragraph, we have different aspects to discuss. Let's see. For example, time expressions. Last year, 
This is a time expression. Also, I have a, this, this, this. What are all these that I am circled? That I have circled. Past. We had simple past. simple past tense. Yes. Simple past tense. And then this is this is the time expression. This paragraph is not in present. This paragraph is all the activities are in the past tense. Yes. All of them, all of them are in past. But we have different characteristics. For example, I said verbs, but this verb has something different from this verb. What do you think the difference is? What do you think mm. the difference is? Uh -huh. Between this mm. verb and in this. That is an um, irregular and regular. That's but... it. That's it. So in this short paragraph, I have irregular verbs, regular verbs. I have different verbs, but also I have the verb to be. So I have a variety of verbs in this short paragraph. What is important when we are going to start the simple past tense? Pronunciation, is it important pronunciation? Yes. 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 That is one of the most important aspect for the simple past tense. For example, these verbs are called irregular. And these verbs do not follow different rules. They don't have rules. You have to learn them by heart. It means that you have to memorize them. But what about with the regular verbs? With the regular verbs, everyone's, everyone say, ah, es que los regulares son los más fáciles. Yes. For the written form, yes. Because in the written form, you have to have all the verbs and in the ed. Idi, 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 idi in the end. Idi, idi, idi. All the regular verbs endings are ed. ¿Cómo los voy a aplicar a ed? Well, I need to apply different rules. But that is not the most difficult part. The most difficult part is pronunciation <laughs> pronunciation why because we are not going to pronounce this we are not going to say well wait, we shouldn't avoid pronouncing this we are not going to say stayeth we are not going to say playeth we are not going to say dance it at the end of this class you are going to read this such as Stayed, played, danced. They have different pronunciation, pero en ninguna dije ed, en ninguna dije stayed, en ninguna dije played, danced. No. Desaparece la e. Desaparece la e. 
desaparece la E como pronunciación. And that is what we are going to emphasize. So you see, in this short uh, paragraph, we have regular verbs, irregular verbs. We have a pronunciation for the regular verbs. And we have affirmative statements. All of them are affirmative statements. Affirmative statements. I'm going to type it here. We have here affirmative statements. What is affirmative statements? They are sentences such as, we went by airplane and stayed five for five days. One affirmative statement. It was very cold because it was winter. Another, we played and danced in the snow. I wore a green overcoat and a pair of boots. We had good food in the restaurant. We had so much, I love my holiday. Well, that is not past. Only affirmative statements, only affirmative statements. It's solo con affirmative statements. I am able to write down a short paragraph about my holidays. In the end, at the end of this class, you are going to write down a similar paragraph to this about your holiday. But meanwhile, now we are going to start with every single grammar point about this short paragraph. I'm going to start with a very famous to be. Everyone knows about the verb to be. Everyone knows. But now we are going to see it in the simple past tense. We First, we are going to make like a comparison with the present simple and the past simple. For you to be aware the little changes that we are going to have from present to past. In present, we used to say, I am, I am, you are, she is, he is. In this case, I have a proper name and then I have, Jean is 70 years old. We don't say years. It is not years, we say, years. Jean is 70 years old. Or we say he is old. But in past, in past, something changed. What is the difference? That to be, that to be, that to be is not is anymore. In past tense, I have John was. Yeah. John was 10 years old when he was John, right? When he was young. John was 10 years old. Present and past. So I have made the change is became in was is present was past okay is present was past mm -hmm. now i have changed the subject and then i say they are old they are old but I want to change it to past. And then I say past. They were, were young. Young. are changes to where. So I have the second form of the past. Are sure. in present, yes. Uh, was it for I, he, she? Yes. Yes. It were for they, it will. You? 
they, uh, okay. we. Okay? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Anytime. Here is what you are saying, right? Okay, this is was, uh, what Berta was asking for, okay? So the previous exercises were telling me that I have two different forms of the verb to be in past, because in present, we had three different forms in present. In present, we had, for example, am, is, are. Three different ways to conjugate the verb to be. But it doesn't happen in the simple past. In simple past, the third form, this, get together with he, she, and it as a group. And then all of them are going to have the verb to be as was. And then I'm going to say, I was, he was, she was, it was. And then I'm going to say, we were, you were, they were. They don't change. They keep the same amount of subjects, of pronouns. Give me a second. So I have three pronouns here, three pronouns here. Present, past. And then I have the complement. And then I say, hey, I was sad, he was poor, he was a student, it was difficult. I am happy, he is rich, he's a nurse. All of them, all of them can be in past. I say, I was happy, I was rich, she was a nurse, it was easy, we were early, you were at school, and they were quiet. We are going to make like a comparison with the sentences. Commonly, or very frequently, many people have another verb and they say, I was play, I was work. And they think that that is past simple. That is not past simple, that doesn't exist. I cannot say I was work. I cannot say I was study. They were work. I cannot say that. The simple past tense is was, were, and the complement has to be a profession, an occupation, or an adjective, or a noun. This complement can be a noun, an adjective, a profession, or even an occupation. But never a verb. Because we are going to change the, sen the sense of the structure. So please try to avoid not to think about any verb in here. Yes, Roberto. Teacher, so when you talk about this, so uh, is the coded form, or you cannot use, for example, I was studying English 
um, a long time, for example. This don't exist. You can just you can don't use this form. Yeah, this, this is not not exist. Okay. 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 The, so. What what we have and it exists because we have it is the sentence. For example, I say, I was studying English. This can be possible. This is possible. No. I was studying English. Uh, he was studying English. She was studying English. We were studying English. They were studying English. The problem is that this is past progressive, but not past simple. Past simple is not that. That's why I cannot say, for example, you say, ah, pero entonces no le pongo el, el ing y ya es past simple. Entonces voy a decir, I was study. No, eso es lo que no existe. Eso no existe. I was study, I was work, oh. I was play. Eso no existe. Okay. Okay. But, but I can use, I was studying English, this correct form, yes? This is correct. So in, I was in, studying in, English. If you had a conversation but, about that. Okay. You can use okay. it in a conversation. But if I am asking you, use simple past, that is not possible. Because simple past, you need to say, I was sad, I was home, uh, it was noisy. I was a student. Those are the only possibilities that I can use in simple past with the verb to be. Right? Keep that okay. in mind. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, okay. teacher. Now, I have these examples. Making the contracts, the contrasting with the simple present to the past. He is hungry. And pay attention to the complement. Check this out. He is hungry. He was hungry. En ningún ejemplo van a encontrar un verbo ahí. Okay? So this is what we have. Next. They are musicians in present, but in past, they were musicians. Okay, excuse me, okay? So we were saying that in present we have, they are musicians, but in past, I'm not going to say they is, they, they was. No, I need to think about in past. And then if it was, are, I'm going to make it where? They were musicians. She is sick. She was sick. Now write down yours in the chat box, please. One example in, in present and then in past with the verb to be. Write down your sentence, please. Okay. I was punctual. I am pu I'm punctual. 
he was hungry. I am tired. I was tired. I am in your room, in my room. I was in my room. Yes. You see, no verbs. We don't need more verbs. We The verb to be is the one. Okay, Rose. Okay, Rose. Hello, Rose. Hola. Okay, Rose. What we are saying in this moment, que después del verbo to be, no viene ningún verbo después. Okay, we cannot okay. use, we cannot use any verb. We can use an adjective, a profession, an occupation, a noun. But we cannot use any verb. I was busy. Okay. He was a soccer player. She is beautiful. She was beautiful. That's the way, Rose. Okay. I was young. Okay. I'm going okay. to. Okay. Maybe because you saw this. This is, this is incorrect. I need to cross it out because this is not correct. And this is correct. But in another context. No. In the context of. Present simple. In past simple, in past progressive, yes, but not in past simple. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now I have here just one more example, right? I am in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom. I was telling you at the beginning that in the short paragraph, con qué expresión Eh, ¿Con qué comenzaba el, el pequeño párrafo that we were practicing with the reading? ¿Con qué time is fresh. Time is fresh. Last year. Last time year. expression. Time expression. It says last year. It can be last month. It can be last week. It can be yesterday time expressions in past are just for making the emphasis about time tense sometimes we understand that we are speaking in past because the verb is in past but if we add the uh, time expressions it is much better. For example, I can understand perfectly if you don't use this. If you say, I was sad. Is that in past? Yes. But if I have yesterday, it sounds much better. It was difficult. Is it okay? Yes, but if you are at the time expression, it is much more better. They were noisy. Cuando no se específicamente, right? But is it okay? Yes, they were noisy. But if I add last night, I know the specific time. It was last night. It was not in the morning. It was at night. These time expressions are going to help us to be very specific with the time. And this is also uh, to help us to join ideas, right? I'm going to, I can use, I can use simple in past, past and simple and, and past and present. I can use them. I can play with both. And the only thing that I need is a connector that is going to make the contrast of the two sentences. For example, I say, I was sad yesterday, but I am happy at the moment. 
I am making the contrast. It was difficult last week, but it is easy right now. They were noisy last night, but they are quiet now, making the contrast. Present and past. But is the past simple only about the verb to be? No. Past simple has two different branches, two different branches to work with. For example, these two branches in past simple are past simple, two branches. No, I need to use the other one, this one. Oh, This is the one. Pass simple to branches. To be. And here, other verbs. How come? What does it mean? What did I say okay. about the last? Okay, yes. Bertha? Other verbs in past or in present? In past. In past. Because this is going to be simple past. All this, it is simple past. But, in los ejercicios anteriores, ¿cuál es el verbo que se utiliza? ¿Cuál es el verbo qué? Que utilizamos en los ejercicios anteriores a esta lámina. Was and were. Was and were. And that is the verb to be. Esta es esa branch. Todos los ejercicios anteriores belong to this branch. Y no se metía ningún otro verbo con él. I said... No work, no play, no work, no study, no any of any verb, only verb to be. to be. I was, we were, only the verb to be. But in the other branch, this is the second branch, we have other verbs. ¿Cuáles son esos other verbs? Regular anyway. and irregular. Any verb. They can be regular or irregular, pero eso sí. Si el to be no dejó que se mezclara ningún verbo con él, entonces lo mismo van a ser los otros verbos. ¿Qué le van a decir al to be? No se van a mezclar. Exacto. Si el to be no los aceptó a ellos, entonces ellos no van a aceptar al to be. They cannot be together. So, in this part of the grammar, no voy a tocar ningún ejemplo con el to be, because those were the sentences, but now I'm not going to use the verb to be en esta otra parte del verb to be, del simple past. Okay? Entonces, Si ya vimos in the past slides the verb to be, now we are going to work with the other verbs. Todos los que ustedes ya se conocen. And all of them are going to follow this grammar structure. For example, immediately you recognize that the sentence 
is in past. ¿Por qué? For EAD. Because it is in ED and immediately when you were in high school, when you were studying English, they were telling you, okay, los que terminan ED son past tense. Yes or not? Yes, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Aunque no siempre son verbos. Okay. ED no siempre son verbos. We need to identify que esos ED Pueden ser adjetivos, right? Okay. But that is for another class. Now, here again, we are going to make the, the, the comparison with the present and past and check this out. In present, remember that we have the third person singular and then for third person singular, I have leaves. She leaves, he leaves, it leaves. And the other pronouns are going to be conjugated like I leave, you leave, they leave. Only the third person has the letter S. But it doesn't happen in the past simple. In the past simple, hacemos la recogezón de todos los pronouns and all of them are going to be conjugated with this. And then we are going to say, I lived. You lived, we lived, they lived, she lived, they, he lived, and it lived. All of them. We are not going to be separating any. It is only one form of the verb for all the subjects. Past. And then I said, I lived in a small apartment. I lived in a small apartment. She lives in a big house. He lived in a big house. No difference. I lived, he lived. And then the Aparecen todos los verbos. What kind of verbs? What kind of verbs do we have in past? Regulars. Regular. Regular and irregular. But here I have only regular verbs. ¿Por qué identificamos que todos son regulars? But todos just as ed. ed. Todos terminan en ed. All of them. All of them. And it says, well, if we are going to talk about simple past and if we are talking about the regular verbs, significa que we need to apply different rules. Different rules. Oh. <laughs> Escribanme. Two past simple regular verbs que no estén acá en esta pantalla in the chat box. In the chat box. Yeah. Dos verbos que no estén aquí. At least in this slide. Mm. We have many. Okay. Jose Dilson says cooked. Roberto says washed, laid. Amberta says bite. My dear Berta, that is an irregular verb. Oh. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. It is just little by little that you are going to learn. As I said, los verbos se aprenden o se aprenden. Así, memorizados. Most of them 
the irregular. But little by little, the more you practice, the more verbs you are going to uh, have in your mind. Rose asked and helped. Okay? Okay? And so, in esta misma lamina, we have the first rule for the regular past simple verbs. For example, it says, if the regular verb already ends in E, we just add D. That's it. I just add D. Leave, smile, dance. The characteristic is that all of them ends in E. So I am going to add D. In mm. my past tense, it is lived, smiled, and danced. That is the first rule. Ending in E. And if I have the first rule, it means that we have more rules, right? Yes, we do have more rules. I don't have them here. Let me. I I need to jump from these ones. No, please. <laughs> No, no, no. I just, I just, uh, we're looking for the other ones, but they are really down because the purpose is that we have to understand that if we have different rules, it means that we need to know how to spell them. I'm going to stop sharing here because I need to check it out where they exactly they are. Let me check. Lisa, teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm going. I'm going to do it in this right moment. Okay, thank you. I just found it. The spelling. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys, so be ready, please. Okay, so Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present, teacher. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present, teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth yes. Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Bueno, está Jessica. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. I here. José Dilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Genia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Por ahí vea Carlina. Sí, aquí estoy. Ok. Ok, Kenia. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present teacher. Maximiliano Donay Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. 
Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel, Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Present. Alexander Mendoza. Yes, Wilfredo. Wilmer. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys. I'm going to back and I've got and it happened to say, okay? No quiere aparecer. Okay, vamos a ver. Here. Here we have the spelling rules. And this is the first rule that we were uh, checking, right? This is the general rule that says, we add ed at the end of each verb in past simple tense to the regular verbs. And it doesn't matter what letter is the last one, but we are going to add ed. And then that's why we have here rained, and then here we are going to have cooked, and then we are going to have waited. It doesn't matter the ending, if it is T, if it is K, or if it is N, any, any letter, we are going to have ED. And this is the, the first rule that we were uh, studying. That is all the verbs which ending is E. Lived, danced, smiled, loved. This is a little bit more, um, you need to be uh, more careful with this. I'm going to erase this. And then I have like two rules in one. But we need to see what the difference is. For example, This rule is this. And the rule says, when you have one verb, that is one syllable long, and the ending of it is consonant, vowel, and consonant, okay, something is going to happen here. We are going to double the last consonant, such as stop, stopped, double P, double P, but be careful because we are going to have consonant, vowel, and consonant from your, uh, from your right to your left. ¿Por qué from your right to your left? Tiene que ir en esta dirección. Y si no veámoslo con el primer verbo que tenemos ahí que es stop. Entonces, yo voy a decir esto, consonant, vowel, and consonant. Cumple, yes, one syllable, consonant, vowel, and consonant. So, I am going to double P. Pero si usted se olvida que es de derecha a izquierda y lo hace de izquierda a derecha, and then you are going to say consonant, consonant, and vowel. Ah, pues no dobla porque no cumple con la regla. Okay, mistake. Is consonant, vowel, and consonant. Yes, pero la dirección tiene que ser de derecha. Right, left. Right to left, no the left to right, porque pueden caer en problemas, okay? So that is the correct way, from right to left. So, but this is for stop. Also, the same rule applies to plan. Consonant, vowel, vowel, 
consonant. consonant. So I need to double letter N. And then my result is plant. Plant. But. Exceptions. It doesn't happen when the verb ends in W, X, or Y. For example, the verb snow, una sola sílaba, consonant, vowel, and consonant. Ah, pues sí, cumple con la regla. Entonces voy a decir, le duplico y agrego ed. Sí, sí. No, porque aquí dice que it is finish an in double. Yes, it is an exception. So I am not going to double W nor X nor Y. For example, fixed. I am not going to double and I am not going to do this. I am going to write down only one X. In play. Play, it is an exception. Consonant, vowel, and consonant, one syllable. Pero las que terminan en Y. Solo le, el ED. ED, only, only. Entonces, esto que les estoy explicando in this moment, it is the easiest part. Es como un repaso. Desde bachillerato hasta los que han llegado a la universidad, las primeras materias. Mm, right? Se me olvidó. Ok. Este es lo más fácil. But. Ok, we have more rules. This is the rules for uh, ending in Y, X, or uh, W. The examples that we are not going to double. These are the exceptions. And this is similar to the previous one. Pero aquí sucede algo diferente. It says. Siempre es de duplicar letras o no duplicar. But that will depend of the stress. For example, esta regla dice that when we have two or more syllables, but the final syllable is not a stress, no duplicamos. What is the stress? Fuerza de voz. Stress. Ah, okay. Stress. Como la tilde, algo así. No, acento. Okay. Nice. Okay. Stress. So I say happened, open, visit. Cuando ese stress happened in the, the first syllable, entonces. No duplico nada, no duplico lo último y queda tal cual. And then I have visited, opened, and happened. Mm, pero y si estuviera entonces stress in the final syllable, ¿qué sucedería? Sucede esto. I have here only one word with the Stress in the second syllable. But also have the comparison with British and American English because um, we always read like different kinds of English and many books, they are in British. For example, equal, travel, Aplican 
más para British. Ellos toda la vida, todos los verbos ending in L, duplican. British. But it doesn't happen in American English. In American English, we are going to double only, only if. El acento recae en la última sílaba. So I'm going to say control. Control. My stress is in the second syllable. Entonces voy a duplicar. American English. American English. Controlled. Pero esta regla lleva un poco más de dificultad than the previous one. ¿Por qué? Because this is related to pronunciation. Y el problema es, and if you don't know how to pronounce it, ¿la va a duplicar o no la du va a duplicar? Right? Because you need to know cuando va a estresarla o no. Dice, I'm going to tell you. Esta palabra, without context, puede pronunciarse así. Control. But control. Also, control. Pero esa misma palabra también se puede pronunciar como control. Control. Y yo hago el stress en la primera. Y digo control. Y también la puedo pronunciar como control. Y cambiará algo. O solo el stress. ¿Habrá alguna diferencia? Yes. Sí, la, la duplicación. Yes. Si lo pongo acá. Tengo que duplicar. Pero si el acento lo pongo acá, ¿qué pasaría? ¿O es que el acento es antojadizo a donde yo lo quiera poner? ¿Funciona? En inglés. En inglés, sí. En inglés. What might be the difference si yo digo control o si yo digo control? If I, if I say control in the first syllable, esto deja de ser verbo y pasa a ser un noun. Mm. Okay, can you give me the control of the TV? I want to sit, I want to watch TV. That is the control. But okay. do you want to control the TV? To control, that is a verb. The stress changes and the word changes. The, the, the role of the word changes. It is not the same to say a verb than to say a noun. Okay? Those are okay. different roles. Okay, we have finished with this. And now we are going to go to the most difficult part. But before, before that, okay. I want you to, um, I'm going to come back to the first reading. Give me a second. Again. Mm. 
Vamos a poner taxi. Okay, guys. In here, such, we um, can now how to uh, make the past tense of the verbs. And instead of saying work, I'm going to say work ed. I'm going to say play ed. I'm going to say uh, dance ed. All of them. But now, how are we going to pronounce them? Am I going to say players? No. Plays. ¿Cómo tengo que decirlo? Played. 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 Ok, Osvaldo. Played. ¿Cómo tengo que decir este? Tense. Thanks. Ok, Osvaldo. ¿Cómo tengo que decir este? ¿Dónde está el otro? I, I, I lost it. I have three. Aquí está. How do I pronounce this? Space. Space. Ok. ¿Y cómo hacen para pronunciarlo así? ¿Por qué no dicen stay it, play it, dance it? What do we apply? What we, do we I need add, to understand? Uh -huh. Because the letter E don't, don't pronounce. Yes, we don't pronounce. We don't pronounce. Esto no se pronuncia de hecho. Eso que le hemos puesto de past tense. No se pronuncia tal cual. Pero, ¿cómo le hago? How am I going to identify how to read the past tense in ED form? Well, we are going to do something. First, we need to define what the term voiced and voiceless mean. What is the meaning of voice? Oops. What is the meaning of voice and what is the meaning of voice less? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of voice? No, no, no. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of voice? What is the meaning of voiceless? Um, the voice is, I think, I mean that um, our um, the sound that means that speak or the not voice for example if voiceless um this a uh, product or um technology that that thing that that is that this all <laughs> okay good try good try good try any other any other opinion about voice and voiceless what is that the vibration the the garganta for pronunciation the the verb okay thank you adilson okay vibration in your throat Throb. vibration Throb. in your throat throat My... okay yes it is related to that it is related to that if you wanted to make it simpler. What is voiced with sound? What is voiceless without sound? That is the meaning of those two terms. Y a mí de qué me sirve saber qué significa eso, con sonido o sin sonido? Ah, well, because that is going to help you to pronounce the past tense of the verbs. That is what is going to help you. 
In this moment, you are going to do an exercise with phonemes. Phonemes, you know what phonemes are, right? Right. What is a phoneme, Berta? Phonemas. Okay, that's it. What is the phoneme for? I cannot get this. What is the phoneme for this? What is the phoneme? I want to listen. Mm. <laughs> what words? What is the phoneme for letter L? What is the phoneme for mm. letter L? L? No. That is letter L. What is the phoneme? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh -huh. What about the others? Um, I think that that is the the font that that how they pronounce the word and the the ring sound. For example, L. That is the font that that your mouth. Then for the expression, this this word. Okay, it goes with that. Okay, it goes without. For example, hey guys, vamos con fonemas y todo esto es sonido. Si yo les escribo la letra entre plecas, es sonido, no es letra. So, what is this sound? No es M. It is not M. It is M. Mm. That is the phoneme. That is the phoneme. What is the phoneme for? <laughs> Mejor así, aunque tiene que ser minúscula, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, yes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. That is a phoneme. What is the phoneme for? <clears throat> mm -hmm. The phoneme. What is the phoneme? It is T. <laughs> No es T, no, it is T. What is the phoneme for? Uh -huh. um, um. No. No, es esta vez, es esta vez. Labio, diente. That is the sound of that. Y la última, what is the phoneme? No, dos más. Okay. What is the phoneme for this? That's it, the phoneme. What's a B? And what a is little the B? No, no. Esta es the little b. Uh, s. Z. 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 Hasta les tiene que picar los labios. 
si no, no está bien dicho. No, that's true, that's true, that's true. I'm not teasing you. Es entre los dientes, pero tiene que hacerlo vibrar. En cambio, en cambio el sonido de la S es... No tiene que formar esa vibración. So, now we understand what is phoneme, right? Right. Okay. So, we are going to... You are going to work with your teams. And you are going to classify todos los sonidos from the alphabet, except, except the vowels. No me evalúen las vowels. ¿Ok? Todo el A, I, U, O, no. El resto de las letras me van a clasificar en dos categorías. Las que van a sonar y las que no van a sonar. O las que van a tener vibration or no vibration. I'm going to give you the exercise, for example. Con estas dos hacemos el ejercicio y ustedes se van a ir a hacer con sus compañeros esto. You are going to put your fingers in your throat and then you are going to pronounce your, the sound of this. No hay vibration. Y si lo hay, no lo está pronunciando bien. ¿Ok? El aire pasa fluidamente por la garganta sin interrupción. Es letter C. Letter S. Uh, S. Letter S. Entonces usted esa la va a clasificar, a clasificar como voiceless. Sin sonido, voiceless. Entonces, y si yo produzco el sonido de la Z, and then I'm going to say, pónganse los en la garganta. Ahora, ahora tiene que vibrar, porque si no vibra, no lo está haciendo bien. Ok. Y entonces esa la va a clasificar como voiced. Vibration. Vibration. So, dos grupos va a tener voiced and voiceless. ¿Qué letras van aquí? ¿Qué sonidos? ¿Qué fonemas van a ir en voiced? ¿Qué fonemas van a ir en los voiceless? Gráficamente, no se preocupe, grafíquenlos tal cual la letra entre plecas. That is the only thing. Because the symbols are kind of different. No son tal cual ustedes los van a hacer. But I need uh, you to understand the exercise, okay? Okay. Okay, let us go so and let us work. Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna have my first team. Wilfredo, are you going to work? No, okay, I'm going to include Rose, Karen, and Jennifer. You are the first team. The second team goes with Remberto. Mm, yes. Jessica, Carolina, no, right? Okay. Berta, Amanda. Okay. Are you here, Amanda? Ah, no, está de oyente. No la había visto. I'm sorry. And um, Osvaldo. And the third team goes for uh, Adilson, Elsa. Only you two, because Jessica doesn't answer. And Wilfredo tampoco. Okay? Only Elsa and Adilson. 
Okay, guys, go and classify the alphabet except vowels, only the consonants. Let us go and work. Yes. Me sacó la app. Se estaba cambiando el Pero no me la ha sacado. A, la... ¿A quién? A mí también, teacher. Cuando ¿Sí? le di iniciar sesión, yo, Jennifer. Me sacó. <ríe> me cerró sesión. No, Yo entré no. y, y, y salí. <risa> ok, a Rose no me la ha mandado a, a la sala principal. A Jennifer sí. Ok, Jennifer, ¿con quién estaba? Con Rosy, en el grupo de Rosy, Kerry. En el uno. Okay. 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 ok. Pero a Rose no me la ha sacado, ahí mantiene. Pero no, como me voy para allá. La voy a cambiar de equipo y después la vuelvo a mover para acá. Okay. Yo. Yo. Tampoco. No ve, no vibration. Esta sí. La R, sí. Uh, R. Sí. Uh -huh. R. R. Es, es no. Sí, no ve. Sí. Es no. Sí. 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 La B. La T. Sí, no. 
No lo remember. Sí, sí. Sí. B es. Yo digo que es, sí. B. W también. La W, w creo que sí. W, creo, eso creo que no. Oh. No. W. No, W no. Mm -hmm. X, sí, ve. X. Sí, es así. X. Guay. Guay. Eso tampoco, ¿verdad? Guay. Sí. No. No, guay, no. Y de sí nos dijo que sí, vea. Sí. Sí, pero sí es... Entonces... Quedaron Bol. en vibration. B, D. B, D, G, H, K, L, M, N. B, G, K, L, M, N. R, V, X, X, C. C. Y en la vibration. C, F, A. P, Q, S, W, Y. Y. Yes. Okay, guys. Se califican ustedes solos. And then you tell me if you are correct or not. If you decided that the letters from the alphabet con sonido son estas? ¿Cuáles? Veamos, la L está bien. La N, la R. Do you get them correct? Do you get them what correct? Moment. What moment? Okay. <laughs> we are checking. Okay. <laughs> you are checking. Okay. Okay, let it be. M N R D Some letters are correct. 
some are correct. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a classification como vibration letter D. And don't see in the list. Letter D. 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 Okay, yes, it is. It is. Después le explico por qué no está en este listado, okay? Okay. But it okay. is, it is, it is with vibration. Okay, now check okay. the other so, one. All corrects. Okay, good. Now check the without, voiceless. Okay. And in here also we have combinations. Okay. F G aquí está um, F C X B, Q, we have two more. <laughs> Which ones? A letter Q and letter V. B. B. A little B. <laughs> ah, entonces, él no tenía esa aquí. No, the B of. De vaca. <laughs> pues sí, letter B. Letter V, V, V. ¿Qué sabe? Ah, ok. No okay. lo había visto. Ok. And what ya other? No me, <laughs> yes. And what letter other? Q. Ok, Q. Ok. Only. Ok, guys. Yeah. With that, with that classification that you have done, Con eso tenemos para poder saber uh, how we are going to pronounce all the past simple tense of regular verbs. Now, let's see how come. All the verbs. Esta ed. In all the verbs, it is going, it is not going to be pronounced como ed. This ed is going to be pronounced as the as the 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 id id. So it means that we are going to have three different pronunciation for the past regular verbs. Three different pronunciation. The, the, it. It. And this is easy. This is easy. But we need to take the base of the verbs. The verbs. Let me see. I'm going to take this. Okay. Which is the last sound from this verb? The base form of the verb. Antes de ser transformado a pasado, ¿cuál es su último sonido? No es el, es 
Uh, okay, because the verb it is cold. Ese es el, el sonido de la L. Cold. Todos los últimos sonidos del verbo en base. Ese es último sonido que se va a pronunciar. Va a saltar y va a pronunciar el último sonido como D. Esa ED <laughs> se va a pronunciar como D. And then I'm sí. going to say cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, okay. amazed, robbed, claimed. So exaggerando, of course, but it is just a matter of pronunciation, right? But we need to identify which is the last sound for the verb. Si usted ya lo tiene en pasado, it is a little bit complicated to know hasta dónde llega la base del verbo, right? Because that is the main point that we have to do. And then I'm going to say the pronunciation of the sound D. That's why I was making the emphasis for loved, damaged, amazed. That is what I have to produce in this moment, okay? Now, I have made the first exercise with this one. Now, you need to identify which is the last sound here? Which is the last sound? In the base form. Which is the last sound of the base form? Can you read it? In what word? Mm. Which is the last sound? Uh, oh. Excuse me. Help. 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 That is the last sound. Help. That is the last sound. Help. Help. So, después de ese sonido, voy a saltar al otro sonido que será and then my past tense será pronunciado como helped helped todos los que están acá que son voiceless van a ser pronunciados todo esto como t. so I'm going to say Helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. En ningún momento he dicho helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. En ningún momento. So I need to say helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed. Watched, kissed, danced, fixed. That is what you have to practice in this moment. So I have the first pronunciation, the, the second pronunciation, t, and the third pronunciation is id. Id. But this is a facile. Id. Y eso me genera una sílaba extra al sonido que, mm -hmm. con el que voy a, a, a terminar. Eso es fácil. ¿Por qué? No me importa si es voice o es voiceless. Solo quiero dos, dos terminaciones de sonidos en este grupo. Mm -hmm. solo, solo quiero dos sonidos al final. Need. 
د د ¿A dónde termina el verbo aquí? Aquí. El último, sonido, el último sonido es want. Want. El segundo. ¿A dónde need. termina el verbo? Need. 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 So, for the past need. tense, I'm going to say wanted, needed. Wanted, needed. Needed. Wanted and needed. Yes? Yes. Okay. Entonces. Como ya sabemos, ahora lo van a pronunciar. I'm going to read it once and then you are going to read it with your classmates. Y mañana, en cuanto comencemos, les hago una evaluación de pronunciación, ¿ok? Ok, to start with, I'm going to start with, and then I'm going to say. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. 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 Help. 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 Looked. Looked. Sniffed. 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 El último sonido es una F. Sniffed. Sniffed. Laughed. 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 Washed. Washed. Watched. 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 Kissed. Kissed. Danced. 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 Fixed. 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 Cold. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Used. Used. Ojo, ojo que esa S con E combinada produce una Z, 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 Z. No es una S, ¿ok? It is una Z. Used. Amazed. Robbed. Claimed. Claimed. Wanted. 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 Needed. 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 Okay, now. You're going to look for, for five voiced and five voiceless verbs, and then you are going to read them. Okay, so in total, you are going to have 10 verbs, five voiced and five voiceless in past tense, and then you are going to read. ¿Ok? Ustedes los buscan. ¿Cuáles verbos? Los que ustedes prefieran. What I am interested in is the pronunciation. I don't care about the meaning of the verbs. I want you to pronounce them. ¿Ok? Five voiceless mm -hmm. and five voiced. ¿Ok? That's in the work.
Complete. complete complete pero no se pronuncia complete sino que complete pero eh, se escribe complete complete Com ajá complete ajá Está también, fíjate, complay, com, complay, complay, then, se escribe que es quejarse, pero no se debe de pronunciar así. Mm. Por ejemplo, close. ¿En qué categoría lo, lo puse? Close. Close. Con voices. Voices. Close. Close. Esa termina en, en S. Como en Deva. Close. Close. Pero ese termina en S. Normal. Vaya, ahorita las que. A nada aquí me encontré uno, mira. Ahorita queremos de los que terminan en D. ¿O de ¿Sí? Vaya. Lead. Eh, married. I'm married. Uh -huh. eh, open it. Open. Ah, ahí está, arrived, que tenías. Arrived. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero sí, yo creo que, bueno, estoy teniendo problemas con esto, pero démosle. ¿Cuáles seleccionaste vos con sin sonido? Sin sonido. Ajá. Watch it. Watch it. O watch it. Es watch o watch it. 
de lavar o de ver? De ver, watch it. Watch, watch it. Watch, watch it. Ma. Eh, de sin sonido, ¿cuáles seleccionas? Con sonido, perdón, ¿cuáles seleccionas? ¿Cuál eh, con sonido, cold, cleaning, loved, amazed, y climbing. ¿Y vos? Ah. ¿Qué? Ajá. ¿No? Buy, buy no, porque buy eh, de comprar el pasado es boat. Ahí si no, ese es irregular. Es irregular, igual que slip. Igual que slip, eso tendríamos que quitarlo. Tendríamos que quitarlo, uh -huh. porque cambia y cambia por la slip, sí, slip. Sí. Uh -huh. Dos y dos, tenemos, word, tenemos dos y dos, change. tenemos word change. Y play y el listen. Quiero ver, y si ponemos teacher. Yes. Okay. Es, tenemos una duda con el verbo lis, listen. Es listen. Yes. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok. Ah, perfecto. Ah, bien. Yeah. <laughs> Entonces, ¿cómo estamos?
No, no, no. Now, I would like you to do the following exercise. We got three different teams. I want one representative to write down the voiced verbs, voiced in the chat box. The five verbs that are voiced. Okay, I want you to write down in the chat box the five verbs that are voiced. Ok, el equipo de José Adilson ya puso los cinco que ellos consideran que son voiced. Ok, I'm waiting for the others. Ok, mientras los otros dos equipos lo ponen, ok, algún representante del team de José Adilson me pronuncia esos cinco verbos, por favor. Adilson. Hello. Hello. Hola, hola. Ok, Adilson. Cooked, walked, finished, looked, jumped. Okay, pero are they voiced or voiceless? Me sí, confundí, sure. ese es uh -huh. voice. ¿Qué son esos? Voice. Vo voiceless. Son voiceless, okay. Esos son voiceless, ok. Ok, pero, pero digamos está bien, ok. Veamos un representante del equipo de Remberto que lea los que ha escrito. Indeed, son cinco, pero solo han escrito three. We need more time, teacher. We were very disgusting about the verbs, so. <laughs> ok. So, but read only the, the three that you have there. Remberto's team? ¿Quiénes estaban con Remberto? No pare. Ah, ok. El ok, equipo... um, um, listen it, play it, look it. Ok. And enjoy it. Hey, no oh, Enjoy the... Sí, nos faltó. Se me olvidó. <ríe> ok. Pero de todos mm. esos, looked. No va ahí. Mm. Looked is okay. voiceless. Ok. 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 Now, Jennifer Steam. Ok. Cold. Clean. Clean it. Love it. Amazed. Clean. Ok. Todos son voiced, sí. Ahora la pronunciación, my dear uh, Jennifer, es. Ese va a ser el reto. Ubique el último sonido de la base del verbo. Y después de ese sonido, usted va a producir este otro sonido. De, de, de. Por ejemplo, cold, cold, 
cold. Ahora el segundo, ¿cómo quedaría? No, porque me está pronunciando la letra E y me dice cleaned. No tenemos que pronunciar la E, sino que del último sonido se va a ir a pronunciar D. Y va a sonar así. Cleaned. En estos verbos, en ninguno se tiene que oír la letra E al final. Clean. That's it. That's it. No. El siguiente. No. Okay. Love. That's it. Next. Amazing. Go, my friend. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's it. And the last one. That's it. That's it. Yes. That's Good it. job, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the last team, Jose Adilson. Ah, los corrigieron, right? Okay. Now pronounce them. Lo mismo tienen que hacer. El último sonido y el d, d. El close, okay. close. Ajá. Um, el segundo no sé cómo se pronuncia. Mary. Okay. No se escribe okay. así. No se escribe ah, okay. así. Ah, falta la. Ahí le, le han inventado el verbo. Pero si fuera así, como se pronunciara. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, open. That's uh, it. Right. That's e it. Use it. Ah, mm. ahí hubo, ahí me pronunció E. Use. 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 Acá, that's it. Ok. Y lo mismo van a hacer con las voiceless. El último sonido más. En ninguna se tiene que escuchar la letra E al final. En ninguna. Ok, so we are going to practice this for tomorrow, right? This pronunciation right. we are going to keep working tomorrow. Ok, guys, <clears throat> we have finished and now, wait, listen, we have, <laughs> listen, we have finished, finished, that is the pronunciation for ED. Ok, guys, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Me. Present. Good. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present. No. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. Present. Ok. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Always here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. 
and Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay, guys. That's all for today's class. Thank you very much for participating. Try to continue Thank practicing. You. And see you good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Bye-bye.